Hello and welcome to my kitchen. In this video I'm going to show you how I make butter chicken or chicken makhni. It's a creamy chicken dish that's really aromatic and goes really well with naan or rice, however you like to have it. It's absolutely delicious. Now this recipe was requested by one of my good friends Yaneris, so thank you so much for requesting this recipe. Let's get cooking. You'll need two 400 gram tins of plum tomatoes and two to four green chilies, depending on how hot you like it. And I'm gonna blend these two together. Two tablespoons of minced ginger, one and a half teaspoons of salt, three teaspoons of garam masala, and eight teaspoons of brown sugar. Now you can use more or less depending on your taste. And of course it's chicken makhni, so we'll need 100 grams of salted butter and 300 ml of single cream. And two kgs of chicken thighs and legs marinated in my homemade tandoori chicken marinade. If you haven't seen the video, check out the link above. Preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna go ahead and roast my chicken in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. If you can barbecue the chicken, then go ahead and do so. So go ahead and lay the chicken out on the tray. And then go ahead and put it in the oven. Now while my chicken is cooking, I'm gonna get the sauce ready. So in a large saucepan, we're gonna add all the ingredients except the butter. And my stove is not on right now. So once you've added all your ingredients except the butter, go ahead and start the stove and mix the ingredients with a whisk. A whisk is really good for mixing this together. So we're going to heat it on medium heat. So as it starts to heat up, make sure you're stirring it otherwise it might curdle. Once the sauce has heated up for about five minutes, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add the butter and I'm gonna switch to a wooden spoon. Then cover it with a lid and let it simmer on low. So this has been simmering for about five minutes now and I'm gonna give it a stir. Wow, it's starting to really come together nicely. And I can see the butter floating on top. It looks really good. Okay, so my chicken is now done and I'm gonna place the pieces into my sauce. Oh, that was a free facial. <laughs> Look at that. So the chicken is done. There's lots of sauce in there too. So I'm going to go ahead and put the pieces into my delicious makhni sauce. Now my sauce recipe is quite simple, but the tandoori chicken has got so many special spices and aromas in it that when the sauce and the chicken come together, the result is to die for. It's absolutely delicious. Now all this delicious broth from the chicken and the marinade of the tandoori is actually going to be sieved and placed into the curry so that it takes it up a level. Stir it gently so you don't break up the chicken pieces. So once the sauce has been mixed in with the chicken, we're just gonna cover it and let it simmer. Now just a tip, the longer this curry sits, the better it tastes. So if you're expecting to eat it in the evening, go ahead and make it early in the day so it gets to sit and the flavors get to melt. And any leftovers you have, if you have any the next day, oh my goodness, they will taste amazing. Thank you. 
Now this has been simmering for about 15 to 20 minutes and it is done. It's ready to be garnished with coriander and it smells and looks absolutely delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll be bringing you lots more recipes and I'll see you again soon for some more cooking inspiration. This is delicious. So good. Oh, very, very nice. Thank you. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you.